Greetings to you all, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Captain Fluency, and today we are going to have another personal commentary video staring me. So the last personal commentary video was about my channel plans, which was very great, I assume. And today I am going to be making a video about my top 8 favorite grades of all time. And by grades, I mean school year, so yeah, don't get that confused. Now before I start the video, I actually want to address some things with you guys. My first upload schedule. As you have seen in my channel upload schedule recently, I have been uploading two Minecraft videos, then another normal video, two Minecraft videos, and another normal video, which will be the pattern of our channel. At least, when I, until I beat the Ender Dragon. So anyways, yeah, let's get right into it. So I'm basically, for the past decade, I have been coming to school every day, at least when it's not summer, and when it's Saturday or Sunday, or at least when it's not break. Yeah, actually, I actually just attend school every half of a year, so yeah, that's a much more simpler view. And basically, there's a lot of ups and downs in those school years. Mainly, for one, I always do things for fun. And from that fun, we can make the criteria of this video already. So let's get right into it. Number 8 will be, let me look in the script, I wrote yesterday, 4th grade. Because for me... This is the school year that I do not particularly like, but generally hate. Now, I don't really want to blame the people that I'm surrounded with at this time, and, but basically, this is the grade where I generally became a weird person. Believe it or not, half of the people who watch this video and personally know me know that I'm a weird person myself. Admit it, you do. But generally speaking, there's a lot of factors from this year that brought me to where I am, a weird person, today. Moving on! First grade. For what I know and remember, this grade sucks. Not for a particular reason, it's because I am very limited at this grade. Like, I didn't know what I was supposed to do. I was always at this house, staring at a single TV. I had nothing to do back then. I never had friends outside that I can play with because I was awkward back then. I still think that I am. That I was very, very hyper. <laughs> now second grade. This is a grade that I particularly don't like but also don't hate. But I value the most out of all of these grades. Because for one, it has something that I truly value the most. So um, to put it short, since I don't really want to make this a long video, it was this game that changed me when I was like 7 and 8. Now you know why. 8th grade. Now we are now in the likability. The most recent grade is my least like out of all the likable ones. Because for starters, it was the most blandest year I had. That's basically it. It was very bland. But uh, hey, at least we got our ebooks, right? Ah! Also, I got this girl who told me in her video that she didn't particularly like me and she thought that I was angry at her. I'm not. Anyways, moving on. 7th grade. Now, what do we have here? What I really hate about 7th grade is that it was boring like 8th grade, but there's a major difference between it and 8th grade. For starters, in 8th grade, I was literally the same person from the first day of school to the last. In 7th grade, that wasn't the case. It was the largest difference be between the two. Either that difference or the other difference that I wasn't always in the same emotion the whole year. In 8th grade, I was like that, the same emotion. Happy, 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 happy. A little bit happy, happy, happy. Just the same emotion for days on end. But generally speaking, I've changed. I changed in this grade, so yeah, that's all to it. Now moving on, we've got 5th grade, it's... I think it's about to rain, so yeah, I'm just going to make this quick. Unfortunately, this entry in her list is just as bland as 8th grade, not gonna lie. But unlike 8th grade, I was happy all the time, where in 8th grade, it was very bland and I was bored all the time. But unlike 7th and 8th grade, this grade had something in it. It had the special thing from second grade. I was cursed with knowledge. 
or rather just enlightened with knowledge, that's all. And that's very crucial for the top spot here in my list. Now for the next entry in my list, we have third grade. Remember when I told you that I do things just because I want to have fun? Yes, that's going to play a very, very, very big role here in third grade. You see, because the fun that I was actually looking for was already there. I did not have to change it, I did not have to like do it myself, have fun myself, but it was already there. It was pre-made for me, it was for me. The only problem is, I didn't do it appropriately. Like, I wasn't that appropriate at like much more hyperactive than first grade. Yeah! Really, I was a troublemaker back then. And lastly, I'm sure you can count, grade 6. You know what, I'm just going to make an analogy for myself. 6th grade is the cream of the crop. It's basically the Assassin's Creed 2 of the Assassin's Creed franchise. The Call of Duty 4 of the Call of Duty franchise. The Ocarina of Time of all Zelda games. And the NBA 2K11 of all NBA games. It was truly the cream of the crop. And remember when I said about the fun back in grade 3? Yes, this time I made it appropriately. Not necessarily very appropriate, yeah I did some crap load of things that wasn't really likable back then but I was also enlightened back in 5th grade, remember when I was enlightened my knowledge and cursed with knowledge. Yeah that happened here. Anyways guys that's it for my video, like the video, comment down below and what you want in the next one. Follow my twitter account, follow me on snapchat as well, facebook and instagram will come soon enough. I'll see you guys next time, peace out.